and it's got good torque it gets up there when i floor it because we can no much gas and it's still a brand new engine but good power good power to be honest Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. This is Peter. Today, we're going to get behind the wheel of this awesome 2024 fifth generation Ford Ranger. Very excited to get behind the wheel of this Ford Ranger. It's been a little bit of a while. Uh, you have seen this one here before on my channel, just kind of around the auto show, just looking at it from the outside, but not really had a chance to go inside, check it out, and get to drive it. Now, before we go on, I want to give a big shout out to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Ford Ranger. Big thank you to Tim, and I'm gonna put all their information and a link to their website in the description below. And ladies and gentlemen, here we have this 2024 Ford Ranger, our fifth generation Ford Ranger, brand new to the market. Now, of course, we've seen it, as I mentioned before, on the auto show, so, but this is actually one of the first few that's already gotten here to the dealership that actually I can get my hands on. Now, of course, this uh, fifth generation Ford Ranger uh, is still on the same platform, the T6 platform, that's basically shared globally on all over the Ford Ranger markets. This is basically the T6 2.0 version of this platform, which is I uh, got revised you know, basically a little bit longer wheelbase. We got a little bit of revised suspension, a little bit better travel suspension, and of course a revised interior, along with other bits, a bit of strengthening the here and there. But kind of overall, an evolution of the older or the prior, gen prior generation T6 platform. As I mentioned, this is a T6 2.0. Now this uh, this platform here is also shared with Volkswagen's Amarok, which is basically their pickup truck that Ford provides this platform for, and also. We have another one that's uh, the Ford Everest. The Ford Everest is basically a SUV based out of this Ford Ranger that we unfortunately don't get here. That's sold in Australia and in Central America. But unfortunately, we do not get that platform here or that Ford Everest. I hope I wish that Ford did bring that Everest here to us. I'll put a picture for you guys up on the screen, but unfortunately, we do not get that one here. I wish they'll be awesome to offer that because it'll be based on the same platform. It looks good. And hopefully, uh, since Ford's getting rid of all, all the uh, Ford edges, I wish they would bring that and replace the uh, the edge with this Ford Everest, but hopefully we'll cross our fingers for that. So this Ford Ranger that we have with us here is an XLT model, which is a mid-level trim. For 2024, you have the XL, XLT, Lariat, and the Ranger Raptor, which is an awesome off-road you know, performance version of, the, of this Ranger. Now, this one here being the XLT, this one here is finished off in iconic silver, which is a very nice silver color. This has got the dark or the uh, black cloth interior, which is really nice, which we'll go see in just a few moments. But checking out the styling of this new Ranger, I really like it. It's a little bit much more handsome, much more better. Some people don't like it, but I really like it, considering the new competition that we have today of the new Tacoma. We have also the new Canyon or the new Colorado from Chevy or GMC. And of course, we got also the Nissan up Frontier as well. So that's a pretty heavy competition in this segment, but I think Ford has a, a good price point and a lot of stuff that comes with their new Rangers and Upsky. It's actually, it's pretty competitive price compared to probably the most expensive one right now in the market is probably the Toyota, the new Toyota. So as you can see, this is a four-door version of the, like I said, a crew cab and a five-foot bed. Unfortunately, this is the only way you can get the new Rangers. We have no shorter cab with a longer bed. That's unfortunately not no longer available for this new fifth generation Ranger. Now, as you can see, we got the five-foot bed. Coming here, we got the FX4 package or the FX4 batch right there, the decal. We got the revised tail lights. You can see really nice lights. We got some LED lighting here as well. We got the Ranger stepped around here on the back of the bed door. As you can see, really nice. I think Ford did a good job. And as you can see, also the fender kind of stand out a little bit. A little, has a little more fender flare, which I really like, not only on the back, but also all the tool in the front. But so I'm coming here and checking out the front of the styling of this new Ranger. Uh, kind of an aggressive kind of honeycomb front grille. It's just say we got a dark gray finish here, glossy finish here, kind of in the middle two rows right here. But we, besides that, we got a bit of a kind of mate grille finish. We got the four bash right there with the front camera. A little more of that dark gray glossy trim here in the middle. And here on the bottom, we got it. This is actually still plastic, but we do have a aluminum skid here on the very front. As you can see, we got some more of that dark gray 
gloss surrounding here the the fog light which is an led fog light some sensors here as you can see as well and then coming here to the c clamp type of daytime running light we do have led reflector headlights and of course incandescent and halogen turn signals but really nice what this is i mean i really like the the design of this new ford ranger especially the hood and then it kind of all works well really nice what ford has done to the exterior now as you can see also the fenders do kind of flare out a little more especially in the front and the rear which is a nice design element to this new ranger come here to the side we got the 17 inch wheels which is which are basically dark gray come with this xlt package and of course this being the ifx4 package you also get the goodyear wrangler territory kind of semi-aggressive off-road off terrain tires these are 255 millimeter tires with some really nice wheels we got the xlt back as you can see right here we also have the uh, plastic black mirror cap and this one here does come with basically a sidestep or basically uh, i don't say a running board but a step that's kind of just static there as you can see we have the plastic candles for the doors we also have a keypad that's optional here for this ford ranger now this is the only way you can get a ford ranger now with a crew cab or four door with a five foot bed as in the generation before we can get basically a shorter cab with a longer six foot bed but that's no longer the case for 2024 or this generation yeah. of rangers we have the fx4 off-road package now this off-road package on this rangers they come off with the uh, locking rear we also have the skip is here in the bottom as i mentioned the front skip bit skip is for the transfer case fuel tank that's what comes with this fx4 package also of course a little more aggressive tires you also get trail control and also got hill descent and of course we get a couple of different modes off-road for this uh, fx off-road package that's basically what this off-road package gives you one thing that they have done for 2024 is add a step right here but this one is not equipped with that step here we have the uh basically led tablets which are really nice really like the way they are designed we do have uh, here some basically some of your sensors here and here on the side here we have your turn signal and we got reverse light right there now here the rear bumper as you can see also it's got some of that dark gray glossy trim here as well which is really nice i don't know that they'll put that here in the back because that can easily scratch but then that's what they put here in the back so as you can see we got here some of the sensors for your co-pilot 360 and of course the backup camera here that is also here in the very back and of course we got a 360 degree camera here with this tech package Tow receiver ready to go. This new Ford Ranger is towing 7,500 pounds. Basically, that's what this, this is the max of towing for capacity for this Ranger. I love that the Ranger is stamped here on the on the basically on your door. Let's go ahead and open up the door of this bed here. As you can see, it is a soft opening door. As you can see there, which is really nice. So here we have the five foot bed of this Ford Ranger. Got no type of uh, spray or spray on bed line or anything like that, but I'm sure that's an option. As you can see, we got all types of hooks and everything like that as well. Now this one also has got a 400 watt inverter. As you can see, we got a home home connection right there to connect your tools and a 12 volt connection there which is really nice so plenty of hooks as you can see there now coming here to the door as you can see we got a ruler here as well that's part of this package you know this new ford ranger a couple of hooks here you can put your things on this got no step or anything like that as i mentioned you get the steps here on the side but those are optional as well here on this bed you can do 1800 pounds of payload capacity that's what force rating this new ranger especially with this 2.3 liter engine so but um there we go guys pretty simple back nice uh, bed here on the bat for this ford ranger pretty good size mid size, mid size truck let's go ahead and raise the door which is very nice very light as well that's what i mentioned we got the reverse camera right there uh, but there we go guys here's the back of this ford ranger and coming here to the hood of this new ranger let's go ahead and open up the hood this has got no hydraulic assist so we're gonna have to grab a little stick here hood rod and put it right there where it's indicated so ladies and gentlemen here we have the 2.3 liter inline four turbocharged engine basically an EcoBoost. 270 horsepower 310 pound feet of torque going through a 10 speed automatic transmission and of course this is going through the four-wheel drive system that this ford ranger has now there is a 2.7 liter v6 twin turbo that's coming later in the year ford has already told us but it's not coming in they kind of push it until later in the year but if you want uh, v6 right now you're gonna have to go to the ranger raptor to get the three liter uh, 400 plus horsepower twin turbo v6 now that's basically the same engine that's in the ford explorer st and the ranger raptor not the ranger raptor but in the bronco raptor basically that same engine is in that ford ranger raptor but this is a great little power plant pretty good horsepower plenty of torque and basically a carryover from the last generation about 20 miles in the city and about 24 miles to the gallon in the highway with this four-wheel drive system look one more mile per hour if it's just a rear-wheel drive one but but there we go guys here's the power plant for this new ford ranger let's go ahead and bring this down get a little rot back in its place and there we go 
And before we get inside of this Ford Ranger, let's go ahead and check out the price real quick. That's gonna open up the ticket cascade, a little more view of this door, but actually I'm gonna put this here on the screen for you guys. So here we have the 2024 Ford Ranger in Iconic Silver. This is a 4x4 XLT. They started over just over $39,595. This one here, as you can see, we got the off-road package for about 1300 bucks. Technology package for 1560. We got the trailer tow package for 495 and the security code keypad that's on the other side of the driver's door for $95 for a total price of $45,330 for this Ford Ranger. And actually it's not a bad price considering today's truck prices. And this is a pretty good value considering the new Tacoma is probably gonna be in the mid fifties for something similar or a little higher. Canyon and the Colorado are about the same price as well as the Nissan Frontier. But of course the Nissan Frontier was gonna be in the V6 instead of a inline four turbo. But of course you get that V6 turbo later on in the year with this Ranger. All right, gentlemen, just uh, take a quick look at the interior. As you can see, this has got the dark cloth interior. As you can see in the door, we got a soft uh, soft touch material right here with a bit of stitching. Really nice pattern that the new Ford, that Ford did on this Ranger door. So you can see plenty of storage space right here on the very bottom. And coming here to the interior. And before we get in, you can see we got your step right here. There's no door handle or a handle here to get you up. I think Ford missed a little thing. I don't know if it comes with a higher trim model, but they should put a little handle here to help you up into the seats. But here we go, guys, the black cloth seats here. As you can see, really nice kind of two-tone there. These seats do kind of fold up this way, or you can bring them, let me just make sure they're secure. You can pull this little tab here and just bring them up as well. So you have kind of both abilities to put the seats. So of course, as mentioned, we got the little window right here, and we do have basically a center armrest as well here with cup holders. So that's a very nice convenient feature. Make sure those seats are secure there. And now here we have a pocket here in the very back of the of the uh, passenger front seat. And now here we do have a three prong connection, a 400 watt connection there, and also some USB ports. And we have a little more storage here, as you can see. So let's go ahead and just check out the interior space. Let's go jump inside. I'm about 5'11", so the seat's kind of where it should be. It's a little tight, I got just, basically my seat are up against the seat, but it's not bad at all. Here we have plenty of room here on the head plenty of headroom and I uh, really like this interior of this style. I really love the cloth seats for me they're better here for Florida's hot summer weather they don't burn your butt when you're especially if you're in a leather seat but I really like it we got a light gray headliner as you can see there and we have all the rest of this new interior of this Ford Ranger but really, really nice what Ford did I really like that pattern right there as you can see a bit of dark grayish accent as they're, they're on the wall on, on the door here on the door uh, but a very nice interior overall only one pocket but that's about it guys for this Ford Rangers back seat. Let's go ahead and get to the front. And coming here to the driver's side of this Ranger, as you can see, we got that $95 keypad right there that's optional. Uh, tip's a little bit crooked, but basically this keypad helps you if you wanna put in a code and leave your keys inside, you're more than able to do that. Just put in your key back on and open the door and you'll be all set. If you wanna leave your keys inside instead of carrying them when you're bicycling or walking, that is a good feature to have. Now here coming to the front of the door, the driver's door, as you can see, we got that same pattern right here. A bit of it, uh, nah, it's still pretty hard right there, the materials, but all this is soft touch, right? you can see right there. We got a bit of that, Dark gray accent right there. Controls for your windows and mirrors. And uh, with a speaker right here, as you can see, a bit of good size storage here on the bottom for your things and a cup holder. Here we got that step here. As you can see, we got the power driver seats is here. I think there's an eight way adjustable. I really love the seats. Got plenty of good, good side bolstering and I love the way they feel. They feel pretty rugged and I love this dark color. I'm sure these are gonna retain from getting dirty. Here we have a bit of a leather here on the steering wheel. Also some more dark gloss, uh, kind of a piano black trim here on the steering wheel really like it of course this is adjustable manually as well we have here your dash layout which is really nice i really love the dash layout the design we got some really interesting pattern here to the design of the ac outlets with a bit of kind of, kind of block gloss flex surrounding that and a bit of uh, aluminum controls all for your rear lights and of course the lights here for the truck and uh, that's about it guys except for the hood opening right there there's the interior of this truck let's go ahead and jump into this ford ranger so here we're inside of this new ranger as you can see pretty much a different way different interior than the last one of course we got new modern vertical screens there we got the open uh, upper glove box really nice plenty of uh visibility in this ranger which i really like really nice uh has a nice visibility the cow's kind of low I uh, really like it, really nice what Ford has done to this new interior. The steering wheel feels nice, got some leather here as well on this XLT model. Let's go ahead guys and uh, get this engine started. Let's go ahead and get the key with me here. As you can see, we got the open close. We do have remote start, but we do have an old style, old school key. We got to insert and we're gonna get that in there. Let's go ahead and get this interior started. Very nice interior. So we got our screens all coming in here and we can drop that volume down a little bit. So let's go ahead and start over here, guys. You can see, got a really nice panel here on top of the uh, dash. We got a lower sonar console here, a little storage space right there with a bit of a kind of a 
rubbery feel to that, which is really nice. We got some of that dark gray accent there as well. Here we have the lower glove box, which is really nice and roomy. We got some of that more interesting air, uh, air outlets design, which is really nice. Here we got basically your passenger side airbag indicator. A little bit of more, I was saying minor storage space here on the top or a little place to put some things. Uh, coming in here, guys, we got, this is a 10-inch vertical screen. There are also, also a 12.4-inch screen as well as an option. Now, if you get the higher trims, but this is a really nice trim. As you can see there, everything's now digital. We got, basically, this is the same screen that's in the Ford Explorer uh basically the four days as well they're gonna brought that in here as well to modernize the interior i really like it you can see we got a manual wall control right there we got six speakers in this truck which is a base stereo which sounds very nice pretty decent uh, sound system we got dual zone ac here which is automatic we got also controls uh, for the ac here as well on the screen and uh here we go we got your hot button right there you can see we got radio phone navigation this has got navigation here as well in this Ford Ranger that's part of the technology package and also got wireless charging pad here at the bottom here as well part of the same package and of course uh, the navigation runs three years what Ford includes in this uh, in this Ranger in this package as well so uh, go back here to the home button you can see guys we got the navigation we got radio we got Apple CarPlay Android Auto we also got a sketch button right there and if you go here to the middle one we got all your settings right here as you can see the sound settings phone we got driver assistance vehicle all kinds of settings you can do as well sound lighting all great things you can do this also update updates over the air and of course you can connect your phone as well and have your phone app or your ford app on your phone and work your truck that way as well now down here guys we got the hazard button here as you can see we got a little more storage space here on the bottom we got some kind of entries there really love the way they redesigned this center console here for the ford for this new uh ranger as you can see we got the 10-speed transmission cup holders here we have your mode drive selector right here with your controls for your full drive low or high and for low now here we have your uh, parking sensors right there, your parking assistance, you got your, and of course let's go to our drive mode, so I'm going to go ahead and, as you can see guys, we got basically normal, we got tow and haul, slippery as you can see there, uh, and then it's uh, switching and then for drive in progress, but as you can see we go down, we do have also slippery, we got run, mud and ruts, and then we have sand as well, that's part of the extra modes you get with this fx off-road package and as you can see guys now we're gonna go off-road now we got all that we got basically your front direction lines as well which is awesome feature to have and you get the front camera there you helping you to get through your off-road mode as well which is a pretty cool feature as well as you can see all they can switch all your sensors as well as well pretty awesome feature to have on this new ranger let's go back guys to basically just a regular because unfortunately i don't have enough gas and i can't take it off roads and this is one of the basically this is the only ford ranger right now at bartow ford so there's not, there's not many that have come in we're gonna leave it basically in normal just to give it a quick test track for a bit. Let's go ahead and go, uh, before we close the door, let's go ahead and see if we can hear this 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. It's very, it's very, doesn't, actually it's pretty, pretty quiet engine to be honest. Can barely hear it, but it does sound pretty good. Let's go ahead and close the door. Let's go out. I'm not actually gonna, actually one thing about the new Ford Rangers that is so tightly closed that you have to kind of open up the window, make sure your door is closed because it's uh, gonna get a big slam in that door to get it closed. I don't know if some people might notice that on the oh, new you Ranger. See, this here was very nice. You got the eight inch cluster here, as you can see, digital cluster. We can also get a 12 inch cluster as well on the hard trims. This has got the regular H. We got your instrumentation, but for uh, basically door, I know we're okay. And I can see we got a digital speedometer and we can go out through different uh, menus so you can see there that. And if we go back, let me see if we go back. This one here, we kind of all kinds of menus we can do. My view trip, you got off road. If you go to the off-road one here, you're going to get probably a little different screen, different off-road status you can do as well, which is really nice. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do in these new Ford Rangers, but I really like it. I mean, it's a really nice truck. Everything, this is definitely a step up what Ford has done in this. So, all right, let's go ahead and go out for a test drive. Let's go ahead, guys, and I'm going to go back here to home and let's put our reverse camera. Now, as you can see, we got that reverse camera. You can definitely focus down here on your receiver hitch and there's a rear camera you can see we got trajectory lines with sensors as well so you're gonna hear those sensors when coming i don't know if we're gonna get close enough but we do have a 360 degree camera as you can see there and you can turn on off your sensors there as well but let's go ahead guys and go out for a drive let's go ahead and put our, our ac because it is a little bit cool not max but you're just gonna put it on ac get some cool air going and let's go out and check out how this you can see the windows are the front windows are automatic up and down nobody coming let's go ahead guys and check out how this new ford ranger drives so the quick quick test drive we don't have a lot of gas but 
let's go and see how this baby feels i've read quite a bit of rangers as you know the prior generation I, i've got to ride the tremor one the regular one the 4x2 the fx4 uh though i think this engine's got good power plenty of torque which i really like i mean of course now we, once we get a new 2.7 liter ford ranger i'm gonna be definitely want to grab one and see how it feels it's gonna be feel pretty quick because this even this little two four cylinders got plenty of torque now i'm not gonna floor anything in that because it's a brand new truck it's only got 17 miles on it very smooth transmission very nice easy going i'm just gonna adjust the mirrors a little bit there now as i mentioned this new ford ranger this t2 2.0 platform got a little bit of stretch of a wheelbase and a revised suspension so you still got your live axle in the back but it's, it definitely rides much more smoother now, now of course we got the fx4 off-road tune shock so that's going to help a little bit but uh wow this is a very nice riding truck definitely feels smoother than the last generation even though it's been a little bit but i still got that kind of remember in the way that, that it drove because i drove quite a few of them if you want to browse my channel check the older reviews i did on the other rangers very smooth very quiet too a little bit of wind noise here on the uh, a pillars but overall really nice as you can see everything's here at your fingertips as well this new ranger there your gear selector right here and everything here is at your fingertips the radio easily yeah very nice and i can tell that the uh basically your hood is very low so you know even though i'm still a little higher for the camera and you can definitely see that this has got a good view plenty of visibility the, the mirrors do a great job of course it's got four 360 of course you got also blind spot mirror mirrors as well or blind spot detection mirrors there and this will also heat it as well now i don't know if these will fold in i think they do fold in as well that's part of the options of these mirrors but wow so far i'm impressed with the ride very smooth much more smoother the transmission is very smooth you can hardly feel the shifts and we'll test out the braking a little bit here yeah brakes have a good feeling to them and let's go ahead and go nobody coming because obviously this they just put the thing but Yeah, it's got good torque it gets up there when i floor it because we got no much gas and it's still a brand new engine but good power good power to be honest very smooth transmission more than i remember on the old one even though right now we're on regular mode we don't support or anything like that because of our low fuel uh level but overall very nice this thing drives super nice comfortable the seats are very comfortable as well as quiet and we're doing 63 pretty quiet good that the uh, suspension is very smooth even though you can feel it's a little bit uh i don't say it's stiff but or it's got a firm suspension but you can definitely feel it's the truck suspension but not by no means it's it's uh vibrating or feeling nervous anything like that it's actually it drives excellent wow very impressed with this d4 ranger Ford definitely did, did their homework and, and you know we really improved this platform and made it much better oh that truck's coming here man it's kind of scary here some of these two-lane highways here in florida but let me know if you guys uh, like the styling of this new ranger if you like what ford has done i think you know in terms of some of my colleagues that have tested this uh you know this truck it's new ranger um especially my colleague ben hardy he had all four of the new trucks the ranger the tacoma the frontier colorado or one of them and basically you know yeah chevy's i mean i think the chevy is still one of the best looking ones but i think this is second i do like the toyota as well but of course you know as we know toyota is getting pretty pretty expensive for what it is especially 46 45 000 for what this truck gives you a good powertrain four by four you got all kinds of this technology cameras i mean to get something similar in this in a toyota you're gonna have to spend probably ten thousand more fifteen thousand more on the toyota so let me know what you guys think awesome feeling truck good power plant uh, 20 miles in the city 24 in the highway with this 4x4 so you get good fuel economy plenty of power for this truck and you got plenty of towing capability 7500 pounds and this guy is not turning man some people take forever to get into into a street and we'll check out this little bump here yeah very smooth very smooth bump good uh good suspension 
and you can dial this is not harsh or anything like that Ford did a nice job of dialing in the suspension in terms of and the brakes yeah the brakes got good power good power on those brakes nobody coming on this side we got some stickers there let's go ahead and go wow very impressed with this truck yeah i we gotta get to drive some more models this unfortunately guys i i'm running a little short in time on this one because i was they're gonna sell this one but very gracious for them the the they're still working on it but i'm sure this is probably gonna be sold by the end of the day but thank you to barta four again for allowing me some time with this ranger truck we got a little bit of not much mileage gas mileage but very impressive good power plant plenty of torque very smooth transmission i mean they kind of you can tell they kind of strengthen and smoothen out this transmission uh the powertrain for sure much quieter i feel that this thing is much smoother uh the steering is pretty pretty direct i'll be honest it's uh you know it's a little bit numb but uh it does point it out where you go when you want it to go i like the way this the leather feels on the steering wheel very nice very good size as well on the steering size on the steering wheel size and everything looks great all the digital the cluster everything this definitely works i really like the interior it's very now of course we got the uh, the engine shut off on me there because we got that start stop engine right there we have got to turn that off but very impressed with this uh, new ranger let me know what you guys think of this ranger if it's a good value i think it is for what you get especially considering today's truck prices it's not an easy thing to find a good decent truck uh prices are starting to come down a little bit to not have those crazy uh markers markups anymore as, as some of these trucks have been experiencing but uh, let me know what you guys think of this 2024 Ford Ranger. I like it. And a big thank you again to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Ranger. And um, all right, guys. In conclusion, great truck. I like it. It's a fantastic uh, vehicle for a mid-sized truck. Plenty of power. And of course, once we got the uh, the 2.7 liter one come in, uh, we'll get to test one of those as okay. well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of this 2024 Ranger awesome truck good price for in my opinion and uh if you guys made it this far into the video thank you so very much i really appreciate it, guys if you have not subscribed please subscribe leave me a comment uh like the video i appreciate every one of you watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video take care bye bye